All right, so I've added a couple of little obstacles in here. And for simple input, we're going to make space bar, spin the hinge joint motor on the rear wheel, and that's going to push everything forward using actual forces. So um, we're going to add an FSM somewhere, anywhere you want, but you will just I'm just going to do it on the body here. And then I'm going to do get axis. And I'm going to use the jump axis. And by default and preferences, jump is using the space bar. So when I push the space bar, it should activate this up. I'm going to make a float called input. And I'm going to store that jump axis into input. And I'm going to use a set hinge joint 2D properties action, which comes in the uh, 2D actions. Had to have downloaded them for this to work. And I'm going to say that the motor speed is going to be input. So when this thing goes up, I'm going to multiply it by 2,000 because one, one force is not going to get anything anywhere. So by 2,000, and I'm going to inject that into motor speed, and I'm going to do it every frame. So that should make this wheel spin. Let's see what happens. Whoa. What did I forget? Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. So uh, interesting little fun fact. When you leave this on use owner, it's grabbing the body's hinge joint, which is this one that's connected to the swing arm, and it's spinning the body really fast. That's not what you want, so pay attention to how these are rigged up or terrible things will happen like that. And where's this rear wheel? There it is. So when I put the rear wheel in here, it goes and looks on the rear wheel for this hinge joint, and it's going to use the motor and spin it. There we go. That's much more peaceful. Okay. Probably not exactly what you're looking for, but uh, it's not bad. It's a good start. You can test this out and debug it and work on different things and get it to where that this motor on this wheel will start being more like what you want. Um, the other ways you can do it is just uh, make this wheel spin and then fake all of the input physics in. So if you had an advanced control scheme that you wanted to use and it was all based on uh, you know, totally different, nothing to do with these actual wheels, then you could design that and then just make the wheels spin. Have fake forces pushing this bike all over the place and making it look cool but then you know just the suspension would be working and it wouldn't be getting its force from this wheel there's a couple of downsides to getting the force from the wheel like this you know obviously you see it jumping around a lot um, and there's simply not enough control and, and realism in this setup to make it where you can spin this wheel and then get accurate results you know you can you can get pretty close to you know something that's playable and might be fun doing just this with this wheel based on you know some friction materials if you created a friction material and changed that for the rear wheel and you know made this thing wheelie you could probably do that let's see let's see what that happens if we do that say wheels friction material did I put this on here yet uh, rear wheel yeah I did okay so I'm gonna take this off the front wheel I'm gonna take this uh, friction material I made and I'm gonna bring the friction up to one and uh, see what it changes when I push space on this rear wheel. Now we're getting a lot more friction and it's moving a lot faster. It's also probably going to stop a lot faster because when it's not spinning, yeah, it's just going to hit the brakes and drag. So let's get this camera following this thing. Let's add an FSM and an action smooth follow. Uh, uh, da, 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 smooth follow 2D, yeah, smooth follow action, and put the body in there, right there, and that should set up the camera to follow, and that doesn't look bad. Now we can see over in the game view, yeah, it's working okay. So lots of artifacts to fix in this physics rig setup, but as you can see, um, you have a lot of customizability in terms of mass, the drag of particular objects, uh, physics material, and the friction that's caused by them. 
you can really do a lot. You know, you can adjust the bounciness. You can find out in the uh, Unity documentation. They'll explain what results you can get from changing these variables. Um, the mass alone makes a huge difference. So if you have, like, for instance, low mass on the bike, and then you have a, a rider that has a lot of mass, then when he bounces around, it's going to influence how this bike twists and spins after you set up the joints and connect it together. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into that after we start adding a rider, but if you want to go back and start tweaking this thing to make it react differently to forces and change these weights, then by all means you should experiment with that because this is just a high level overview of how you can connect all this stuff and use Playmaker to drive it. Um, so let's move on to the next video and we'll start looking at uh, a rig for the rider and what kind of inputs we can control there.